So today, Chelsea will be hoping to start the Champions League defense campaign with a victory at home to Russian champions Zenit and Ben Chilwell could be starting for Chelsea. The iconic Champions League anthem will play out around Stamford Bridge this evening and for Chelsea it signals the start of their European title defence. For many Blue supporters, memories created by the final victory over Manchester City in May have not faded. They are unlikely to ever. It was a landmark moment in the club's history. The challenge for Thomas Tuchel and his players is to go again, to conquer the continent once more. Only Real Madrid have managed to retain the big air trophy in the Champions League era that is a challenging fact Chelsea will have to do in the coming weeks and months. Drawn in Group H, the Blues' passage will not be simple. Juventus, despite their patchy form over the past years, remains a huge threat to Chelsea finishing in, in the top spot. No trip to Northern Russia to face Zenit is easy. And while Mamo may be the weakest side in the group, they will not be simply be crushed aside. The squad depth available for Tuko is a huge benefit. He will be able to rotate the side ahead of crunch European games to ensure the key figures in his side are rested and ready for action. This was the case at the weekend against Aston Villa, with Cesar Spicoletta, Jorginho and Miss Mount all starting among the substitutes. Changes will be made to the Chelsea side for the visit of Zenit tonight. Not in goal, however, it was mainly excellent performance against Aston Villa on Saturday where affirmed his position as one of Europe's best goalkeeper and 2020-2021 UEFA goalkeeper of the season who hope to start his second campaign with a clean sheet. There are likely to be changes to the defence which is as later experience required on the right back and ahead of Trevor Chalova. Andrew Christensen may also return for Thiago Silva who at 36 years of age with Tottenham Hotspur to come on Sunday will not start every game. Ante Rudiger will then take up his customary position on the left. The German has established himself as to coast through untouchable. There's likely to be a double change in the wing back rows, with James who missed the Saturday win due to suspension but is available and should return. On the op opposite flank, Ben Chiwell deserves a first start of the campaign ahead of Marcos Alonso. With, uh, with Ngolo Kante ruled out due to injury and Sao Niger struggling on his Chelsea debut, midfield duo picks itself, Yojiu and Matthew Kovacic. In the front line, Mount is likely to return and will be fresh, having a rare game off. Romelu Lukaku will start and then it's down to Tuko to decide between many other attacking options at his disposal, although an ankle injury keeps Christian Pulisic out. Kayabats could start, Kalum Odsno Doi and Nakim Ziyech too, but this feels like an opportunity to get Timo Wena into the side and fresh off scoring in three consecutive games for the German during the international break. Should he be selected, he will have the confidence to do more. Well, for the president lineup, we could get Mendy, Aspuleta, Christensen Rudiga. James Kovacic, Jojo, Chiwell, Mount, Lukaku, and Wena. These are the predator lineup from R and Jesse who continue to go in a 3-4-3 formation going into this game. And with this Champions League defense starting today, Chelsea would definitely like to start this game, this defense with a win over Zenit. Anyway, the last time Chelsea start uh, tried to defend the trophy. Chelsea didn't end up qualifying from the group stage. We hope his history doesn't repeat itself this time around. I'd like to get your own credit and lineup. And also, if this is your first time here on our channel, remember to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon to get notified whenever we drop in new videos.